The Twin Falls man sentenced to seven years in prison under multiple charges. 16 guns, 14 machine gun conversion devices, and three suppressors were among the contraband found at his house upon arrest. Not only did he possess the illegal devices, he was also selling them. The defendant was receiving them from overseas. And then disturbingly, he was selling these firearms with these Glock switches and other devices down to individuals in California that he stated were associated with a cartel in Mexico. This trade is one of the main concerns the district attorney's office has, saying it plays a part in pattern trafficking. There is a, a gun trafficking trade that comes from this country down to the border and into Mexico. It fuels all the violence we're seeing at the border. It fuels the drug trade. Firearms get exchanged for drugs. The devices are placed into handguns, turning a semi-automatic handgun into a machine gun. That can fire um, you know, a dozen rounds in a matter of a second, essentially. That's obviously very, very dangerous. Not only can they be ordered overseas, but some people may be able to make them at home. You can 3D print them. The most recent report from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, or ATF, shows a 570 percent increase in the number of conversion devices collected by police departments between 2017 and 2021. Idaho has not dealt with this crime much, and the district attorney's office wants to keep it that way. This is our first case, and we want to make sure that individuals stay clear from these devices, or if they see them, they know what they are, and they can report them to law enforcement. To demonstrate the danger of these switches and explain the penalties, the district attorney's office has released a PSA, and you can check that out on our website at IdahoNews.com. In studio, I'm Savannah Hankard, reporting.